All right, as per always it seems, I'm on another mission here. Going to pick up the new merch. God, I think we made these designs like late 2021, so it's been a minute, so it's gonna be exciting to see them. Noah's obviously not here, so I gotta bust my back with these huge boxes, and um, so I'll grab them, we'll unload them, and then uh, we'll check out the new designs. Just a quick little sneak peek. You know the vibes. Ah, place looks closed, but they said we could come get them, so dicks crossed. Clothings loaded. Can't see the bed of the truck, but it's full too. It's in a Gildan box, but we do not use Gildan blanks, so. Oh, lots of shit. Whole bed of the truck's full. So uh, let's get home and take a look at how these designs turned out. God damn, she got done packing all your guys' orders from the sale. Thank you for everyone who orders. Oof, that was a lot of work, but let's get into the sneak preview of the new drop. So, I'm gonna show you the clothing. Um, we do have a couple items, but I'll talk about that after. So, as always, t-shirts available in white and black, and then black hoodies available in each design. Over here we have the Take the Risk. I think Noah's a bit horned up and had this lady on here when he's designing it, but uh, small wheels always win. Ain't that the truth. Then over here we have the 8.6. Little power, lots of fun. Enjoy the little things. So. Looks like the 8.6 if we were doing Panda and uh, 11 front end, but that would put us into financial ruin, so we're staying pop-up, but look at that. Very suave, very suave, and then we have tote bags. Look at that, little, little devil dude, with some pancake boobies. And uh, Mark II, long champ, form of a mesh, and the star shark on there. So you can look forward to these, available in white and black t-shirts and black hoodies. Other items we have, we have towels coming, like the kind of little rectangle towels. And then we have a new light accessory for your interior. We have new brake master socks. Oh, and then down the line we'll be restocking gloves with more colors and restocking cup holders with more colors. With more colors. Okay, so the fronts we have the little chest hits, little power, lots of fun, moist boys, and take the risk. Small wheels always win. These shirts are super wrinkly because I'm pulling them out and taking photos and stuff of them. Your shirts won't be this wrinkly, so yeah, get excited for that. I believe the drop date is March 24th. Enough of me rambling. I got this new welder for Christmas. I realized that was a long ass time ago, but it's nothing special obviously, but before I had the $100 Harbor Freight welder, which just had high low. Um, this has way more voltage control, so it should be better. It's also pretty small, but yeah, it was like 500 bucks and it was half off. So my dad got me it for my, both my parents, I guess, for Christmas. So let's go set it up and try to do some welding on the header. Unfortunately, the subframe is still hanging from the tree because we've had this like cold snap, still not warm enough to paint that outside. But we gotta do some welding on the header, so let's try to set this thing up and um, see if we can do that. You know, it's times like these where knowing how to read would be super useful, like, who's Manuel? It says this thing's supposed to have like, a shoulder strap so you can carry it like a satchel. Why would you, why would you do that? Oh, there's the satch strap. Our spool in. All right, I think it's all set up. That was pretty much an absolute IKEA cabinet build. But um, I'm gonna cut off the stuff on the header that we don't need and are gonna weld up with the old hangle grinder. And then we'll test out this welder and uh, play around with the speeds and such. You know, should probably test it on a test piece of metal, but. Do it look like I care? We're gonna cut off this, this, and this. I don't know if this is like, this part was a K header, and then, cause you can see these welds here, if it was welded onto like a 4AG header, I don't know what's happening here, but let's get to doing some mods. This is terrible. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, I've been trying to grind the rust away on it, but my batteries keep dying. That's the uh, curse of a cordless grinder. So I'm gonna try to weld a bit, see how this new welder does. Mess around with the settings and such, and uh, yeah, just test it out. Header holes are welded up. I'm not going to show you those welds because new welder. I was trying to dial it in, and also I have no skills, so the welds aren't beautiful, but they're going to work. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we can do right now. Let's unwrap the motor. As you can see, it's still all taped up from me and Dalton's. It's like a present. Lock is unmasked. Would have been cool to do like the front cover, but someone polished it a really long time ago, I think. Same with front cover or this part here. Kind of want to run the buffing wheel over this. And just see what happens. All right, I did a couple passes with the mother friggin' power ball on the drill and some. Um, some Mudders Megan Aluminum Polish, and I don't know if this is better, I can't remember what it looked like before, but I'll probably do more of that before the engine goes in, because it looks kind of swag. Just remember that valve cover is going to be done once it's in the car, so that'll really make things look better, but I definitely want to polish it some more. I don't know if, like, this all can be polished or what the scoop is. Valve cover is going to be wrinkle black, of course. Got black spark plug wires. And the intake over here has actually also been polished, so I'll probably just polish that a bit more. Because it's losing some of its luster. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know what to tell you. We're waiting for things to happen to the 8.6. Selling a bunch of stuff to afford a link for the Sylvia. So, sorry if this video wasn't too contentful. We'll be back in full swing with juicy content soon, but I guess I should explain a bit about the ECU. There's a bunch of comments on the last video of the Dynatune. Um, someone said you should have asked before you brought a Niztune to see if that shop was into Niztune. They actually installed the Niztune for Ben. Um, so yeah, they do Niztune and are comfortable with it, they said, but my theory is that when they installed the board, a solder point didn't penetrate properly, and so there was kind of a connection that was messed up or something shorted, but we're just going to get rid of that. The Niztune's old-ass technology, everyone says go standalone, so we're going to go standalone and also, I said, comment down below what power you think the CA is going to make. So it actually made 257 wheel on the dyno. The tuner said it could go higher, but he didn't want to push it because of the way it was running. And then they said on standalone, it should make 300. Like, all the um, supporting mods should make 300 wheel. So who knows, once we get the link in there, if that'll happen. That'd be kind of cool. Um... Not really mainly after power. I would just like to actually be able to drive the car and have it run and drive smoothly. But yeah, I'm selling some shit and then I'm going to order the link. Probably from Jimmy Oaks because he has a CA1 in stock, I think, according to his website. Otherwise, RJ's blowing the inventory. Um, but I don't think that's the case. So, probably buy it from Jimmy. Don't think I'm, I'm not going to ask him for a discount because, you know, he's just trying to be out here making a buck like the rest of us. But anyway, what's next for the 8.6 is I'll paint the header on the subframe and then the next 8.6 video should be assembling the subframe once the temperature around here heats up a bit so I can actually paint outside is respraying the subframe, respraying the subframe, finishing that so we can get it in the 8.6 and then the motor choder can go in because, you know, subframe is kind of important for the motor to sit in. Um, and then for the Sylvia, yeah, just, I was really excited to lower it and make it all cool, 
but we're gonna have to wait for the proper tune for that so just gotta get the um, link purchased and in our hands and then we can move forward with that but yeah as you saw the new merch is coming at the end of March but in the meantime if you want to pick anything up like a cool ass moist boys trucker hat link is in the description really appreciate you guys ordering my portion of that proceeds will be going to a link <laughs> but yeah um, comment like subscribe show your friends tell your friends Sorry this video wasn't the most content rich, but I assure you there's lots to do on the 8.6. It's coming up. We're just kind of in a weird spot right now. But yeah, I'm ex excited and extraordinarily nervous to weld these flares, do all the body work back there, because you know that rear end of the car is dicked. But yeah, stay tuned for that. And have a good